What up YouTube? So today's gonna be part six on how to build a budget case series. And uh, today we got some uh, parts that we're gonna be installing. So we're gonna be installing our Type S oil pump kit, our head gasket. We got our Jack Spania head studs that I'm gonna try out since they're um, pretty cheap. They're 50 bucks. And uh, we'll put our windage tray on. I got our new timing chain for the oil pump kit just to make sure like I said I just want this motor to be reliable as much as it is to make some decent power and uh, we'll be installing the head and uh, pretty much pump kit today so I already took the jet out this is the jet I was trying to take off this thing actually took me like 10 minutes for some reason they're usually easy to come out but this one for some reason wanted to be a pain so I got that off which is this hole right here. So, or wait, it's, I think it's that one, yeah. So we're gonna have to block that one. And then uh, we can start shaving down the Type S oil pump. So as you can see, I don't know if anybody watched the last video, but it doesn't go on there directly. So you have to shave out this part the bottom piece if you're running an rrc manifold you actually don't have to do this it's actually already ready like i said before the k24s and the, the z3 or the fd2 model is pretty much like a k24 all their parts are pretty much identical uh, other than that yeah so right now i'm gonna go ahead and find the bolt to block this hole because the ep3 one doesn't work in there and then uh, we'll come back and start putting on the oil pump with the uh, chain and tensioner. And then we'll flip it up, start putting the headsets on and getting the uh, head put on there. I still gotta clean up the bottom. And then the next video we'll be installing cams, rocker assembly, etc., and doing the timing chain. So I'm gonna go ahead and find this bolt real fast and then we'll come back after we modify the pump and start installing that all right so real quick i just wanted to cover one thing before i get to putting the wedge tray in so in order for you to fit this bolt in for some reason i don't know if i did this last time but you do have to uh tap uh threads and uh i used just to show you guys what i used what size it is it's a M8X 1.25 so that's what I used to tap it and I used like a 12 from a regular Honda bolt worked perfect and I torqued it down with some red Loctite so just wanted to let you guys know that just in case you guys come across that I know I did on this one so I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, installing the wedge tray and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut uh, for the oil pump so we can install that next all right, so we're back now, and we got the windage tray on here, and obviously we got the blocked hole already that I already talked about earlier. And so now I got the RSX Type S pump uh, shaved down. So once it's all able to clear, you should be able to just bolt on like that. So that's pretty much it. That's what you have to clear. Kind of takes a little time mainly this right here because you don't want to get too close to the thread so you don't actually cut that off so that was like the hardest part not hardest but just took the longest so now that that's all and ready to go install we can install the the chain and the tensioner and then uh we'll go for the studs and start installing our head next so i'm gonna go ahead and take this back off i'm gonna place this down real quick so you guys can see so I'm gonna take this back off and you kind of have to put the chain on together. So I bring it out a little bit to pass the tensioner chain or the tensioner guide. So make sure it actually gets between the guide and the 
All right, so that's back in place. Okay, get our tension near bolts. And tension here. All right, so I'm gonna finish tightening those down. And we also got our 12s. So the longer one goes over here. Shorter one goes right here. And then we got the last one's the 10, goes in the back. Tighten those down. So the thing about this oil pump kit is uh, you don't have to actually line up the marks on the oil pump like the K24 ones. You actually do have to line up the marks or it'll throw it off balance and that since it's based, those are basically like a harmonic balancer. This is just a single basically gear driven pump. So that's what's kind of good. You actually lose weight and you don't have to worry about doing timing on this. So. That's pretty much it on installing the oil pump. I just gotta tighten up the T12s real quick. So the next thing we're gonna be doing is installing our, basically like head studs, since they're not the ARP ones, but I think they'll do good enough. They're 50 bucks and I want to try them out. So, all right, so that's basically it for the oil pump install. So you got our windage tray, you got to block off our hole, which I had to rethread and tap or whatever, and uh, put on our brand new chain. So we know this thing is going to be not losing any oil pressure, hopefully. And I cleaned this all out and reapplied Lucas and kind of sanded it down the gearing so hopefully that you know helps a little bit other than that i'm gonna go ahead and start getting these studs ready i gotta go get the grease we'll flip this engine over and start installing the rbb head all right so we're back we got our studs and i'm gonna go ahead and start installing them uh put some grease already on them so And when you're installing the studs, I know from ARP, they don't want you to pretty much do it any more tighter than hand tight. So I'm pretty much just going to do these by hand and then just uh, tighten them down a little bit by uh, the Allen key. So that uh, when we torque it down, it torques on the actual stud itself. That's what these bolts are mainly made for so after we install the head and uh, torque these bolts down that's probably going to be it for this video uh, I still got to clean the top hats off of the Z3 assembly, so 
And I gotta go work on the MR2 as well. So finish that up, hopefully by this week. I just gotta get the exhaust done and do the mounts. I've been filming a little bit. Should be coming out maybe the next video tomorrow, maybe. So stay tuned for that. But everything's going in pretty smooth. I like these studs, they're not too bad. For the price, hopefully they work. If they work good, I'll definitely try them on another build. Like I said, I'm not expecting too much from this engine just to be hopefully reliable to uh, even maybe I've seen it go to 75, maybe 73 would be like the perfect spot to be shifting at and everything. So we'll see. It's just an experiment. It could fail. It could be a really good engine. So we won't really know until we actually uh, do it. I'm not even sure who even started the rumor that it wasn't even possible to even do so. Whoever it is, I mean, maybe they just meant that going to 8,000 wasn't possible, but when you go on a K24 with stock rods, you really don't want to rev past 70, 700 anyway, so a couple hundred RPMs ain't gonna really matter as long as you got torque, which is basically what the K24 is, it's just a lot of torque. Even the TSX doesn't really have high compression, so. All right, so all the studs are in. I'm just giving them a little tighten up. Just a little, maybe a half a turn. So my surface is already clean on here. I was uh, cleaning the surface earlier on here. So, surfaces are clean. All we pretty much gotta do is tighten up the head gasket or put on the head gasket and slap the head on. So I'm just basically doing it finger tight, nothing too crazy. some of this stuff off. So make sure the surface is clean before we put the head gasket on. Now the head gasket kit, like it was super cheap too. I got it off of eBay uh, for like 50 bucks, so. I know people People should say I recommend a Honda. It's like, yeah, but I'm not gonna spend all that money for something that might not possibly work, which I'm pretty sure will work, but you just never know. So I'm gonna get this head gasket unpackaged and then we'll come back and start slapping everything. All right, so got the head gasket on, head studs are ready. Now I can slap the head on. So we wanna find the intake side, which will be this side. Um, we're gonna go ahead and install it real quick. All right, so. Now we can put our studs on, our washers and our studs on. And with the uh, ARP, these torque them down to about 80. These didn't actually come with any instructions, so I'm just gonna go with the same thing since they are head studs. 
and uh, I'm gonna torque it down in like increments. So we'll probably do like uh, I don't know, like 30, 50, and then 80. Like I said, it didn't really come with an instruction, so I'm just gonna go with ARP specs. And we're actually missing. Actually missing a stud. Go wash it. Oh no, that one has two of them. Alright, so. So I'm just go ahead and finish installing these real quick since I don't really have much time on the video. We'll come and torque it down and then probably end the video after that. All right, guys. So it is all torqued down and uh, it's all at 80 pounds. So that's pretty much done. The head and the block are finally together with the oil pump. Type S oil pump kit, actually. So the next video, we're gonna be installing roller rocker assembly, our cams, cam towers, and then we'll start doing the timing, timing chain, and then we'll clean all this up, make sure it's all good so we can start putting our side cover on, and then our valve cover and our oil pan. All will probably be on the next video. So if you guys haven't liked, share, Subscribe, comment, let me know what you guys think about the build. If there's anything you guys want me to do on the channel or information, just let me know. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time.